Let me start off by saying that 1.1 will either make or break Genshin Impact. This is probably by far the most important moment in Genshin Impact as far as will this game turn out to be a two or three year game or will it last for a decade. But before we get into the actual video, I just want to say if you find this useful or if you agree with what I say, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for some more content. But let's get into it. I feel certain by now most of us are already familiar with the absolutely god-awful gotcha rates and just the overall lack of gameplay and just the dwindling primal jumps for free-to-play players such as myself that just has really been killing the game. You know, this isn't anything new to gotcha players like myself, but by far Genshin Impact is one of the worst games I've ever seen when it comes to this. Now, it was 1.1 coming out and people speculating that there's going to be two separate banners for both Chide and Zongli. I'm, I'm becoming very concerned with how this game is going to turn out because I've already invested many days into it and while I haven't put any money into it, thankfully, I'm really starting to debate if I even should. And I, I feel like that's what we're going to have to see as far as 1.1. And I, I, what I'm afraid of too is that that new... Um, area that's going to be unlocked is going to be lackluster and that the game will die very quickly and now what, let's talk about that some why is this the case well first off when it comes to actual gameplay Genshin has I mean been doing very well but what can they add other than maybe a few hundred chests and a, a, a mountain region that apparently will be boasting some hopefully good quest and storyline but i i don't feel that there's going to be much storyline added i feel that it'll be maybe two or three story quests similar to what we've been getting when you hit ar 32 34 36 and now 38 was the mona and i i'm imagining that there may be some progression like with the story but i do not think it's going to be anything significant so with that said, you're maybe getting one day, for, for a true grinder, you're getting one day's worth of storyline. And maybe if you're like me and like to sp like spread it out, you might be getting a few days or a week's worth of storyline. But really, that's going to go away very quickly. And most players like myself are going to be waiting another five to six weeks before we get any other type of meaningful progression as far as the Genshin uh, world goes, really. So... Now, how, how should we take this? I, I personally think it's going to depend on how much content they actually pour out, but I don't think it's anything we should be looking forward to, really. As the game continues to grow and move forward, I feel that we will see some changes. Hopefully, the actual gacha system will change. And from what I've seen, there's several countries that are actually been getting increases to that terrible, already terrible price system. As far as like paying a hundred dollars USD for 80 pools now, oh excuse me, not 80, 50 pools. Yeah, 80 is what you get for the first purchase. But yeah, that I I think that's terrible. It's like far as like for example, Russia. It's in Brazil. Your Fed prices increase 80 percent, and I know it's in several other countries. So tell me guys what you think. I personally am looking forward to the Chile banner, but I'm afraid that if they do the Zongli banner and Chile banner separate. That's going to really hurt the game because you're going to put a lot of free-to-player players like myself in a position where we will have to pay money to get what we want. And like for me, I've been saving up. I, I think I have almost 30 roll pulls set up, and I'm I'm gonna I'm still gonna be pulling for Chile. Hopefully, I'll get them, but who knows what'll happen. But with that said, yeah, I I don't think it's going to be a great 1.1. A lot of people have been hyping it up, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be great. Um, it, it might, it'll be good, of course, we'll have a new area unlocked, but will it be enough to save this game? I feel like Genshin's gonna really need to just take a good look at itself. I, I feel like Genshin Impact has kind of turned, uh, and it, I feel like it's just turned into a huge cash grab at this point, and they're not really caring about the player base. They're not really doing anything meaningful to help the player base, especially the free-to-play players. They're not... They don't really care at all about us and they're putting more effort into making money and doing things such as making separate banners for five stars in order to just milk as much money as they can from whales and i don't think that's a long-term strategy and it's also making it hard to 
for free to play players to enjoy the game because you're putting all these banners out and not giving anything rewarding to the free to play player base. Like maybe, like what what have we been getting? Some like 100, 200 primo gems like from events. A very lackluster amount, not even enough for two pools usually from the events that we get. And I think that's an absolute sham and it's just such bullshit in my opinion. But anyway, I've kind of been rambling for a while. That's just a little take on what I think about 1.1 and why I think that this is going to either really kill the game off for most of its player base or it might help. I, I, I don't think it's going to be a great thing. Of course, it's going to revitalize the game a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be anything meaningful. But yeah, that, that's enough said. Tell me guys what you think. If you agree with me or if you don't, let me know. And if you like this video or thought I brought out some good points, so be sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys at the next one. Peace out.